Toji's entrance in Shibuya was epic. Well, not his like first entrance, but like when he comes into the domain, it was class. So um, let's give this a draw. So I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil, use an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. It's kind of tricky this because we've got a head tilt in three quarter pose, okay? So let's go, center point out here. Gonna put his nose roughly here, right? Just like an arrow sort of pointing up, right? Well, it's kind of a curved arrow. So we'll go curve line. Tip of the nose comes across, comes down like that, right? So this is his nose kind of pointing that way because we're in three quarter. So because we're in three quarter, we have a small nostril and a big nostril. Okay, kind of a skinny one and a wide one because this one's closer to us. Okay, and then the bridge of his nose just kind of joins his head somewhere there. And they just draw a line just like that. So two eyes then, so the next one is like across from this nose, it's on that plane. And it's kind of a curved plane for the head. Heads are always curved, right? So no pupils, right? So just black eyes. So we go up, diagonal, and then it seems to go straight and then diagonal down. And then it goes across here, pretty flat, back across this way. And we can kind of maybe thicken up the top eyelid a little bit. And then we have an eyelid line just coming across the top here. the bottom eyelid line and then the eyebrow highly arched like this you want to make sure it gets skinnier at the back I think it's just black so we can color it black <laughs> right, the other eye is just like behind his nose, right? So it's in a really weird position. So it's like in line with the nostril here. And you can just see like the top eyelid going back that way. It's real small. And then it comes back in here. And then like a bottom eyelid line, like you can barely see it now, top eyelid line. And then the eyebrow sort of goes back that way a little bit. So the mouth is probably the biggest thing on the page, right? So we go like a big curved line. So it comes up. It's like a dish back this way all right let's make it look like he's smiling we'll open it up put a little curved line here in the corner and then it goes diagonal down and then the top lift curves up this way And we've kind of got like cheek lines or something here in the corner. Like teeth at the back. And then on the top, we got his top teeth. Just coming across like so. And they kind of bump back for the molars at the back. There. And then we can just see like his gum line at the back and maybe some like gum spikes there. And then the teeth go back into his mouth that way. And then there's lines just on the bridge of his mouth here. So Toji has entered the chat. 
so we can see his bottom lip just here and now his face is his face shape is kind of weird because it's tilted way way back right he's looking like up up so what's the easiest way to do this right so say like from the corner of his eye we go out for the cheek there and then this will come down this way and then his chin kind of sticks out here it could be his jawbone i think chin maybe and then it goes there right and then the forehead kind of disappears underneath his hair just goes up that way so that's tricky now i know it looks like there's not a lot done but it's actually not easy to get a head drawn accurately in that way so you can see the underneath of his chin right so it curves down like that and it joins his jaw on this side it's kind of a bit of a gap in the line here and then his ear is here very low down now because the head is tilted back and then ear lines inside just like this sort of letter J thing is the easiest you can add more of course if you want and then his neck so very muscular guy right so at the front of his neck it's quite long comes down that way and then there's like an Adam's apple sort of here quite long again and then his neck muscles coming down that way and the back of his neck we can't see because of these hair spikes just these hair spikes here and we can see his trapezius muscle where you can see a bit of the back of the neck and then the trapezius just there they draw in another sort of line for neck muscle some hatching on that tra trapezius muscle I feel like we got to see more of Toji in this episode than even the young Gojo fight. It's great. Okay, so the rest of his hair, fringe coming across, right? Coming across his ear and everything. So, say like, all here. These short hair spikes coming across the ear and they kind of come across his eyes and everything. This kind of a thing. So many good characters in Jujutsu Kaisen. And then like a real long one this way. Back. And then we spike up and around and then around the back of the head. So it's like Megumi's hair. It just goes back this way then. And joins the back of the head then. Back there. So that's the easy part <laughs> no joking okay because we got like two hands like up here somewhere so and the hands are always hard oh yeah his scar don't forget the scar talking to myself so 
right in the corner of his lip. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's got a baggy sweater on, like a baggy jumper. Comes around those neck muscles. Right, and this has like Do, 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 like that and then like his shoulder goes this way bumping with all these foldy lines and like his chest that way I think and this has folding lines on it as well again it's a very baggy sort of thing right so you have all these bumps and folds right and like hanging on his chest and the sleeves are all like folded up here as well just like joins in here somewhere. And in across. It's kind of folded up like so. Okay, I'm gonna do something similar over this side. So we got all this black ooze stuff on him, but we'll just get this jumper sort of sleeve in first. Going down that way, right? And then like armpit lines. Folding lines all going this way. Do do do. Okay, arms and hands. So we start over here. So we go. His wrist curves up this way, and we have a bumping wrist bone there. Forearm and wrist on this side. Go like that, and like your wrist bones are just there. We do the same over this side roughly. Right, sounds like he's doing this claw thing. He's like, I'm a crab, because I'm on the beach. <laughs> Imagine he was thinking that. So, hands, always hard. Take your time, hit pause if I'm going too fast, right? So the bottom of your hand is like this W shape. See that? Always, pretty much always. And then he's doing this claw thing. So thumb comes out from there, bumps out to a knuckle. 
right, which goes around and up to the top of the thumb, which goes around like so. And the skin of your thumb joins the skin of the side of the hand and then around and up two fingers which are all in a row going this way so the back of his hand is here and then we got like a knuckle here and then his little fingers first so one kind of hooking around right take your time skin your fingers have normally like three skin segments say so like one two three one two three all right little folding skin lines and stuff but normally it's three little segments the top one has the fingernail and then we go back do the next one one two and then the tip of the finger three and this goes around one, two, and a third in there somewhere. And then fingernail. It's like some finger lines under here as well. That's like all contorted. So we'll go this way. Down. that and then the next finger just so you can see sort of the back of it here can't see his thumbnail there should we see his thumbnail no it's like the is it the back of the thumb maybe no skin lines on the hand can't see that stuff his lifeline and his money line. <laughs> do, do, do. Okay. So, other hand, similar position, not like exactly the same. So, like, don't worry if it's not exactly the same as the other side. It's not in the show. So, but we'll do this W shape again first. It's always a good place to start. And then the thumb. Sort of bumps out this way. Curving around there. There joins the skin of the side of the hand. Comes up towards the index, right? And then we go up to the pinky on this side, keeping it relatively square, like square shape, you know. And then pinky up here, round in, curve it up there, here, and then the little sort of fingernail, and then the next finger, one, round to a knuckle there, and around to the bottom of the finger, back up around there and then a fingernail up there oh did I do that wrong I may have hmm. Hmm, I can't actually see that finger so I'm gonna have to guess there's subtitles like over it I think I'm there. Hmm. I think it's wrong, but it does look bad. I think I did it wrong, but it looks fine, <laughs> which is strange. <laughs> okay, because it probably like, no, I think it's okay. Okay, so then the next finger is just back here. And then we have like hand lines again. If you're into that sort of stuff. 
palm reading and all. Okay, now, so if you want to add like all the ooze, there's all these like strings of like black ooze basically. They're coming out from the bottom of the image. It's crazy. It's just like black ink, kind of, and it's it's totally random. So you can add as much as you want. It's all like just in the air and coming in from the corners of the image. Just all these blobs. like ink like that and of course then if you want turn your image you can see like I'll turn it upside down hold on I gotta rip it off <laughs> hopefully I edit this out if I don't I'm sorry you're gonna see like Ugh. so turn around don't mind the dirt of my page let me see. This probably won't fit in the frame now. Hold on. You turn it upside down if you want. Or you can do it the other way. Yeah, Toji. Shibuya. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.